Madam Goldie. Good morning. What is wrong with you? You've been standing there for over 20 minutes now. I will just come and warn you. I hope all is well. Let me come to you instead. Woman, why is it that you've been selling more than me ever since you came here few months ago? Why have you been making so much sales? And by the way, why have you been praying so hard every morning when you got here? Don't you know that your prayers disturb us here? Above all, who gave you the right to have more customers than the sellers you met here? I do not understand Madam Goldie, please explain in details. All right. I'll explain. You have been making more sales than the sellers you met here. And you disturb us with your prayers every morning. Who gave you the right to make sales than us? Madam Goldie, why are you against me making sales? Why is it a problem that I make good sales? You are also making sales. You are getting me angry. You shouldn't make more sales than me. Why? Who are you? See this little child, asking me who I am? If you know who I am, you and your whole family will perish. Psalms 118, 17 says, I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. Therefore Madam Goldie, my family and I shall not die or perish, but we will live and declare the works of God in the land of the living. Let's wait and see. I'll take my leave now. Thank you. Why did you call for this urgent meeting? Her Majesty. There is this woman that came to Supermarket Arena a few months ago. I initially thought she wouldn't be a problem, but she is now selling more than us, I mean your other members. They've all come to complain to me that she's doing better than them. Another issue is that this woman prays so hard every morning such that she has almost destroyed all the evil charms we planted in the market for customers. We've not been able to steal glories again like we used to with people's money. Majesty, this woman is now a strong force and we find it difficult to erase her. Do not say that. No human is difficult for me to erase. I am the devil's first daughter. I will destroy whoever I want to destroy. I have already created an altar that no one can destroy. I have great powers. Goldie, you have two options, you either lure her into this kingdom of ours, or you destroy her. Lure her to join us, so that she can become one of us, or you'll destroy her by making her face hardship until she succumb. Let's see if she will agree after then. Your Majesty. I'll do as you've instructed. Come, let's feast. We've won another soul into our kingdom through food. Good news. I'll bring Deborah's soul Her Majesty, I promise you that. You are a faithful servant. Come here. Madam Goldie, why are you here? Deborah, are you still mad at me? I am sorry for what happened yesterday. I only felt jealous. I went home to think about it and I realized I have made a great mistake. I am sorry Deborah, please forgive me. It's fine. I have forgiven you. Thank you Deborah. Deborah, I want to discuss a very important issue with you. All right Madam Goldie, what is it? Do not tell anyone this. I will try Madam Goldie, but I am not promising. We have a society here in the supermarket arena. It is simply for us to protect ourselves in our goods and also our customers. We share ideas in the society and we contribute towards each other's success. So many of the women you are seeing here already have many properties. All thanks to this our society. The benefits of being a member in this society is way too much. You are protected, you have more sales, you can even command customers to buy from you. Think about it. What are your achievements so far Madam Goldie? Can't you see how big my store is? 
And? What do you mean by and? Isn't that enough? Your store is all you could boast or. Anyways, Madam Goldie, I am not interested in any society. I am fine. I do not want to belong to any society. Thank you so much for the offer, but I am sorry, the offer is declined. You are very stubborn. Why are you always like this? You just want to hurt yourself. Come and join us and we will protect you. 2 Samuel 22, 2-7 says that the Lord is my protector, he is my strong fortress. My God is my protection, and with him I am safe. He protects me like a shield, he defends me and keeps me safe. Madam Goldie, the protection you want to give me can never be like my father's own. Can I get you water? Are you Miss Deborah? Yes, officer. How may I help you? You are under arrest for possession of materials that is a threat to human life and mental health. What is that? I didn't do anything, officer. Miss, you are needed at our station immediately. I'd advise you not to say anything till we get there. You can contact your lawyer if you have any. Please let's go. Miss Deborah, a customer came to our station to file a complaint against you. She bought some goods from you two days ago, and on getting home, she opened the vase she bought from you and she saw blood in there. She also saw a small note with a skeleton image telling her that you, Miss Deborah kills for a living and she's your next victim. In the note, you also include that she saw someone's blood and so also you'll drain her blood very soon. We have the vase and the note here with us. When you wrote the statement earlier, we found out that your handwriting is the same as the handwriting used to write the threat letter. What do you have to say to this Miss Deborah? Jesus Christ! Who did this? Officer, I do not know anything about this. The explainer confessed to your crimes. We interviewed some of your colleagues at the supermarket arena, and all they could say is that they noticed you make more sales than them and you might be guilty. They all testified against you. <laughs> Miss, are you guilty of the offense? It is true that I sold a vase and some other goods two days ago, but I do not know anything about this officer. Please believe me. Miss, I am sorry, you will be detained while we carry on with our investigation. Ah, what is happening to me? Lord, help me. Do not forsake me here, Jesus Christ. I do not know anything about this. Who did this to me? <laughs> this your new home fits you a lot. What are you doing here, Madam Goldie? Is it an offense to come and check on a killer? I am not a killer, Madam Goldie. You know that. Well, no one will believe you. You wrote that letter yourself, remember? If only you accept to join our society of peace, you won't be in this mess. If you join us now, I promise you that you will be out before the day comes to an end. That is what I'll never do, Madam Goldie. I'll rather stay here than join your evil society. We can protect you. No, you can't. I have a god that can protect me. You are funny, don't you know that god has forgotten you here? He cannot protect you. Go away from me, Madam Goldie. Why do I have a feeling that you have hand in this? But I know that very soon, you will be exposed and you'll confess your sins. I am only trying to help you. If you do not want my help, I'll go. Dear god, I come before you in this moment of need. Feeling the weight of wrongful accusations and the distress of being detained at the police station. I ask for your divine intervention to guide me through this challenging time. Please, Lord, help me navigate these accusations with integrity and grace. Provide me with the strength to endure this trial and the wisdom to make the right decisions. Help me find favor in the eyes of those who hold judgment over me. 
I humbly ask for your protection, Lord, to shield me from harm and to lead me out of this situation unscathed. Bless me with your mercy and grace, and may this ordeal be a testimony to your faithfulness and love. In your holy name, I pray. Amen. Officer, I cannot take it again. I have been in pain for over three days now. Why, madam? We are currently working on the complaint you filed against Miss Deborah, and she's currently in the holding cell. Put your mind at rest. You are safe. Officer, I need to confess. I framed Deborah up. I am the one that put blood in the vase and came up with the letter. She was a barrier to us in our society. I was sent to buy goods from her. Sent by who? <laughs> who sent you, madam? I can't hear you. Please speak up. I still can't hear you, madam. Why can't you speak out? You are talking but I can't hear you. This is something else. Miss Deborah, the culprit has confessed. She claimed that was behind the blood and note. What we don't know is how she was able to write using your handwriting. All the same, I say congratulations to you. Thank you, officer. Can I see the woman? She is currently in the hospital right now. She confessed to being the one behind the blood in the note. What is surprising is that she immediately lost her voice as soon as she wanted to take us the person that sent her. I even wanted to give her paper and pen to write but she had heart attack and she was rushed to the hospital. According to the report, I heard she is in coma right now. Wow, coma, just like that? Yes miss, that woman is an evil woman. I will advise you to continue serving the God you serve and be prayerful. Thank you, officer. Can I go now? Yes, miss. You have been released. Thank you, officer. Madam Goldie, what do you want again? I can see that you've been released and you've made a lot of sales today. I can see now that you are a monitoring spirit. Please, leave my store. It's okay, I'll leave. I just came to see things for myself. Congratulations to you. Did Deborah made Linda confess? Thank goodness that Queen Mother went to Salanter and rendered her lifeless. That's how she would have confessed that I sent her. Well, I know what to do now. I'll burn her store. I know that she'll bow before me after I set her shop on fire. Madam Goldie. What are you doing in my house? Who gave you my house address? Calm down, Deborah. I only came to check up on you, not after your store was burnt to ashes. You lost everything. I didn't lose everything, Madam Goldie. I have God, and my God will fight for me. I know you are the one behind that fire. Holy Spirit will always tell me. It is better you desist now, or you face the wrath of God. <laughs> Whose wrath? Woman, you better join us or you will be doomed for life. We are the only one that can take you out from this problem you have created for yourself. Think and let me know your decision now. Madam Goldie, there's nothing to think about. I will never join you people. Evil people. Deborah, is what I heard true? What did you hear? I heard that you bought two stores down the road and you were renovating this one that got burnt. Is God not faithful? God is wonderful. I can't take this again. Her Majesty. You call for me? What happened? Her Majesty, Deborah has become a strong force. She didn't fall for all my threats on her life. She's always coming back stronger. I have tried implicating her, made her money vanish, try to make her get so angry and I've also burned her shop. 
she bounced back by buying two stores and renovating the one I burnt. I have been made laughing stock. I need to retaliate. It is high time she dies. So be it. I'll back you up. You go and deal with her. All right, your majesty. Expect me in 20 minutes time. I'll be here waiting for you. Go now. Thank you Jesus for your love and kindness. Thank you Father Lord for your blessings. I will forever praise your holy name. Hallelujah to the Most High. Madam Goldie. Deborah, now you have seen me. I am here to kill you. You have been causing me pain since I've known you. You've brought nothing but hindrance to our society. You have unloosed our captives and customers from the bondage that we have put them in. Look. Today is your last day on earth. I have told you that the day you know who I am, you and your family members will perish. Now is the time. You are wrong Madam Goldie. My response to you then was that my family and I shall not die, but live. The Lord has promised us that. The earth is the Lord's, and everything in it, the world, and all who live in it. For he founded it on the seas, and established it on the waters. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. They will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God their Savior. Such is the generation of those who seek Him, who seek your face, God of Jacob. Lift up your heads, you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is this King of Glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the King of Glory may come in. Who is he, this King of Glory? The Lord Almighty, he is the King of Glory. Psalm 3 says, O Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you are a shield around me, O Lord. You bestow glory on me and lift up my head. To the Lord I cry aloud, and he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear the tens of thousands drawn up against me on every side. Arise, O Lord. Deliver me, O my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. You evil spirit. I command you to be destroyed in Jesus' name. Ah. 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 Thank you Jesus. That was so terrifying. Madam Goldie is actually a witch. I didn't believe it when I saw her in my dreams. Ah! What is wrong with you Goldie? Why are you hanging in the air? Ah! Majesty, I am weak. I can't survive this. That lady is so strong. Let me go and die in my house. <laughs> I will destroy this girl myself. Let me go and get more powers. Thank you Lord for tonight. Thank you Father Lord for helping me win this battle. As I go to bed now, please protect me. Protect me O Lord from every evil. Fight my battles for me. Thank you everlasting Father Lord, be thou glorified Lord. In Jesus name I pray, Amen. I am tired, I need to sleep. 
see the fool that destroyed Goldie. She's even snoring. How can this small girl destroy someone like Goldie? Ah. To kill you is easier. Where is this light from? Who is there? I command you to appear before me. Who are you? And what do you want from me? I am Deborah's guardian angel. You foul spirit, lurking in the shadows of Deborah's dreams. You think you can harm her while she sleeps. But know this, I, her guardian angel neither slumbers nor sleeps. As it says in Psalm 121, 4, Indeed, he who watches over Israel never slumbers or sleeps. Your evil schemes are futile against the divine protection surrounding her. Depart from her presence, for she is under the watchful eye of the Almighty, as it is written in Psalm 34, 7, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. I am sorry, I didn't know she has been protected by the Most High. I beg you, let me go in peace. No, you will not go in peace. You will be consumed by the Holy Ghost fire. I command you to be consumed by fire now in Jesus' name. Ah! Bobby, if I may ask, why are there so many closed stores today? It is past 12 and people are yet to open their stores? You can't believe that Madam Goldie, Pastor Susan and other women that own stores around here died overnight. Almost 10 of them. Only God knows what happened. Only God knows.